The Devil's Bridge is actually three bridges. The first being medieval, and incredibly, each new bridge has been built on its predecessor, so we get to see the three that are there now. They were constructed to get across this ferocious river. Apologies for the pronunciation, the River Minac. The views from the nature trail are staggering, and the path the river has cut, absolutely amazing. This video will cover some history and visiting tips. Please stay to the end for all the detail. I'll make another video focusing just on the views of the waterfalls and the river, link at the end. I hope you enjoy, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching Eclectic Experience, change seen through images. The Devil's Bridge is located here, about 12 miles from Aberystwyth. The top bridge is a public road and is relatively modern, being built in 1901. And it's possible to look down at the massive drop below to get a good view. But if you really want to see the best view, you've got to go down to the viewing platforms on either side. The land is private and access is via turnstiles with a contactless payment to the punch bowl on one side and a ticket booth on the other. Starting with the punch bowl, it has a £2 entry charge in 2024. There is a viewing platform and some old photos on display. And from here we can get a really good look at the incredible way the bridges have been built, literally, on top of each other. It's really quite bizarre. The lowest bridge gives the crossing its name and is roughly 11th century and supposedly got its name when an old woman tricked the devil into building it in return for the soul of the first living thing to cross it. But she sent her dog across and the devil was cheated out of a human soul. And that's how the bridge got its name. Great story. The bridge actually lasted a long time and it was not until 1753 when a second stone bridge was constructed over the original one when the first was deemed to be unstable. But then it was yet another 150 years before the dip in the road was removed and the current bridge constructed. The Devil's Cauldron we see here is truly impressive. The power of the water, phenomenal. It's easy to see why a bridge was needed. There is another viewing platform on the other side of the road with a very impressive nature trail and viewing points. We get a very different perspective and also see the colossal waterfalls. Back at the top, cross the road and buy a ticket. It was 4.75 when we visited. This side is a walk down to the bottom of the valley, walking on wet, uneven ground that can be challenging. However, there are plenty of viewing points to stop off at and then there is this one which just gives a phenomenal view of the falls. Then there's Jacob's Ladder, a steep set of steps taking you right down to the bottom. There are handrails the whole way though. Then at the bottom there's this metal bridge before the walk back up to the top. Again on the way back up there are plenty of viewing points and plenty of places to stop off and take a look and have a rest if needed. Make sure you also look away from the falls as there is some stunning scenery, even enhanced by the rain and the mist that hangs in the valleys. Then at the top, just exit round the corner to the road entrance. On walking back towards the car, make sure you have a look at this old style AA phone box. I can't recall seeing another one, apart from in films. So that is the Devil's Bridge. But nearby, there's also an arch by the side of the road. And if you're in the area, it's worth seeing. This arch evidently used to be the entrance to the Halford Estate. Some visiting tips. By far, the top one has to be wear good shoes or boots. Can't stress enough how uneven and wet the steps and paths are and make sure you take your time. It's also worth taking it slowly just to take in the views. 
There is a car park with an exit very close to the entrances to the Devil's Bridge Falls. There's also a toilet and a cafe as well. This is a very dramatic landscape. The power of the waterfalls, incredible. The rain probably enhances the experience, so don't worry about that, as it provides a more sort of moody backdrop. It's well worth a visit. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll be making more similar ones, so please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching Eclectic Experience. Change seen through images.